Welcome to my five minute desktop preview of um, KDE. Now by default KDE is a little bit bland so one of the first things I like to do is give it a relevant desktop for the distribution. In my case Arch Linux. Now the next thing I like to do is go into workspace appearance and get rid of that ugly um, blue glow that comes by default. And how I do this is go into configure decoration and you can go in and change the inner and the outer glows of the windows. Next I like to go in and add some widgets which is a feature that's unique to KDE. So adding a quick launcher really quick and then now I'm going in here and searching for um, folder view which is really cool because you can view through your folder without having to open up a uh, file window. Now one of the things I like to do is go in here and set up my own uh, favorite um, shortcuts to um, applications like Firefox. Then I go back in, add Chromium. And there I have my three most used files. Now let's take a look at the netbook interface. Now I actually wouldn't suggest using KDE for netbooks. I mean it is a rather resource heavy um, environment. On my computer it's using about 600 megabytes just for the um, environment itself. So for a netbook I would imagine it would be kind of slow. But if your netbook or laptop's capable of running it, um, give it a shot. You might like it better than uh, the Unity interface. Being able to switch through spaces like like this is kind of cool. You know, you get a kind of a gnome-like look through the applications that are available. And it's actually really cool is that you can see which windows are active. You know, for a small screen, that's kind of neat. Now let's switch back out of there. Let's take a look at the Excel Music application. Now this is actually a lightweight app, um, application that I found when I was testing out um, Sebian 7. And it's actually my favorite uh, music player. It supports playlists and uh, you can add radio stations. LibreOffice, it, you know, loaded up here a little glitchy, um, but it works just fine. As you can see, Firefox um, looks pretty clean. Um, I actually changed the default appearance because um, the tan appearance is a little bland. Now let's check out YouTube. Now one of the reasons I like adding um, KDE is because it will automatically add Flash to the system very quickly. And uh, you'll be able to play a lot of, you know, um, MP3s and files out of the box. Uh, here's a really cool widget for view previewing PDFs and then going directly into the PDF. That's kind of cool. And the last thing I'd like to show you is how to change um, the workspace behavior. Now you can click on uh, different um, widgets for each desktop and that actually will allow you to uh, manage each desktop separately. Now there was a little glitch when I tried it and um, it required me to log in and out until it took effect. Now I would suggest uh, KDE for anyone that wants to try out Arch Linux and have a lot of uh, functionality pre-built into the system. So thanks for watching my video.